Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to the third installment of the hybrid Fobonichi tutorial series that I'm doing. Uh, I will put all the links below to the previous videos in this series along with the original uh, video that I put out a couple weeks ago or months ago. I'm not really sure when, but anyway, the link will be below to the original, um, video I did showing this when I, when the idea popped into my head. Now, if you haven't been following the series, I do suggest that you go back, uh, you know, follow those links below and go back to the beginning and see what it's all about, but I'll briefly explain it to you. I do a type of daily creative journaling called a Fobonichi. And um, what I decided to do, I usually work in altered composition books, but I was finding through, I think it was last November and December, that my book was getting super duper thick. Um, so one of the things that I was thinking was I needed to alter my composition book to add a spine in. So that's what I did here. I added a one and a half inch spine and two months fit into each of my books. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so the next thing I thought was, well, a lot of times my husband and I travel, uh, on the weekends. And so I thought, Okay, how can I make a book that has just about everything I need in it in one place so that I'm not having to carry this huge art bag, which is actually bigger than my clothing bag. And, um, you know, all I basically need to take along with this book is just a glue stick and a pen and I'll have everything ready to go. So that's where this idea was born. And I just call it my hybrid Fobonichi because it's a hybrid of a junk journal and a faux flow journal or a flowish type of um, insert, journal insert. Okay, so inside here, this is my, let me think, March, April. Okay, so inside here I have two permanently sewn signatures. This is uh, my journaling part for March. This is my faux flow section, which we're going to go over today. That is what today's lesson in the series is all about, making your faux flow insert. And then in the back, I have permanently sewn in uh, journaling pages for the month of April. Okay, so let's start and look at this. Now, this faux flow section, what I'll do is, let me think. Excuse me. <clears throat> Oi, Fred is relentless this morning. Okay. This is called a faux flow insert. It's based off of an idea from Rosemary Morris. That's where I first heard of it. Um, and last summer, actually the first place I heard of it was from Junk Journal Connections Facebook group. Great Facebook group, junk journaling group. And I'll leave all the links below. It is Jessica Rapp's group, and I'll leave her uh, YouTube address below as well, and or the link rather. And that's when I first heard about the faux flow, and these are so fun to put together just in general, okay? You don't need it for this book. You can just do it, you know, just for fun. Um, and... Yeah, we did a swap last summer, and so they were so great, and that's kind of where the idea popped in my head to do this type of altered composition book for my daily journaling, because when I did go um, out of town down south, I would take my fo my regular Fobonichi, and I would take one of the uh, faux flow journals, right? And... I'll, li I'll leave a link, I'll leave links as well to the different faux flow journals that either I have been given in swaps or given as gifts and also, um, whatchamacallit, uh, ones that I've been given and ones that I have given, okay? Hope that makes sense. All right, let's get into this, all right? So, the idea of this faux flow is that it's temporary, okay? It is held in by a piece of elastic. You can get these large rubber bands at any office supply store. You could even tie your faux flow into your book with just ribbon, 
okay, with ribbons. Like on this book here, I have all my ribbons on the side attached to a little binder clip, which is working out well. I can use these, I can cut little bits off to use in my book. Uh, but you could always attach your faux flow part by using like seam binding or a collection of ribbons that you can then use in your book. The whole idea of this is that everything's in one place. Like I said, you have all your goodies in this center section and you will use these goodies to decorate your pages um, in your creative journaling part, which is permanent, okay? So when you're done doing, you know, finishing up your daily journaling, you take this part out. Now what I think I might do is take this part out and just transfer pieces over to a new faux flow section for my next book, right? So let's just take a look at what I have in here. Again, this comes out and when I'm actively journaling in my book, I do take this part out and just set it on my desk so that I can use it, dig through it and whatnot, okay? And then I have just more space to journal in. And then I put it back in when I'm done journaling. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so in here I just, honestly, I went shopping through my uh, art room, okay? <laughs> yeah, so in here, this is a great place to store uh, or when you're making your faux flow uh, insert, it's a great way to use up your bits. That's another reason why I wanted to do it. One of my goals this year is to use the stuff that I have. So I went around my room and collected various things from happy mail to doilies to stickers to dyed papers, whatever. All these things I can use um, while I am journaling in my Fobonichi. Okay, so the first, the cover here, all right, is just a piece of scrapbook paper folded up to make a pocket. I did not uh, attach the sides, you know, I did not glue them down because I might want to use this paper and cut it up and make a tag out of it, okay? So I made these little uh, pockets, temporary pockets, and I used uh, paper clips. And I can also go through here and embellish these paper clips. Just put a little ribbon on them, whatever, and use um, use them to attach things into my book, which I have done. Let me show you an example. Let's see, right here. I have an example right here, right? I used a piece of ribbon, tied it on for a little tag, sorry if there's a glare, okay? So you can always use paper clips in your in your Fobonichi or in your creative journal, okay? So in the pockets I have various um, like tags that have been given to me. I also, I also have washi samples, I have little cards, little journaling cards that have been given to me. I have photocopies of fabric that I put in here that make a great tag or a pocket. Um, stickers, you know, all kinds of stuff. Why are these in here? Oh, good thing I went through this. These are uh, my date stickers that I purchased at Recreations by Brooke from my Brookie Boo. So those don't go there. <laughs> anyway, here's a little bag I got in, in another faux flow, uh, a faux flow. So in this bag, I don't know why this is all, okay. In this bag here, I have a bunch of different things that I've received in happy mail, okay? Again, washi samples, these are from Deb's journals, Debbie's journals, I'll leave her link below. Some washi tape I had gotten, this is from um, My World in OKC, leave her link below. Um, yeah, lots of different pretty happy mail, and think this is a beautiful tag that I had received um, from Debbie's journals. And so yeah, all of these, oh, these are little like calendar pieces, right? That I had received in um, another faux flow that Allison from AJ's Inspired Life sent me. So all these things go in here and I can flick through all this stuff and use it in my daily journal. A napkin, um, I think that came from my sweet, my sweet sister Karen possibly. More tag paper because, let me just give you an example, because in my book, I use a lot of tags, right? I make tags and pockets and 
things like that. Okay, so I that's how that's just how I do it. Over here is a large tag or a large pocket that I made out of some collage paper um, that I had downloaded from one of the groups from Creative Journaling Group. And I make giant tags, right, from the stuff that is in my uh, faux flow portion of my journal, okay? Hope all of that was in frame. All right, so you get the idea, right? All these things can be used. Some of this is Happy Mail I got from a sweet friend, journaling friend Tracy. Um, this is more Happy Mail from Allison. So I keep a lot of different things in here. All this stuff I can use in my planner, or not in my planner, I'm sorry, in my Fobonichi, my daily journal. Here are some note papers. You know I have an affinity for note papers, so I have that in there. Here are some more note papers from Allison. These are my own note papers, okay? So, yeah, pap these are papers I can use to make tags with whatever the case is, right? My dyed paper, more dyed paper. Here's some fabric that, uh, that I got from Amor Fabrique. So all of these things can be used to make giant pockets and whatnot, music paper, all sorts of things. You could put whatever you want in here um, to store your bits, okay? And then this all slides in temporarily into your Fobonichi, right? So let's see how I put it together. What I've done is I have gone through some of my papers, right? <clears throat> Sorry if there's a glare. These are from a beautiful book, and what I did was I just made pockets out of them, okay? I just took the page, I hope you can see that, Wait, sorry for the glare. Okay, so I took the page and folded it up to make a temporary pocket because along the way, I might wanna cut just this picture out and use it in my journal somehow, okay? I might wanna use this whole piece right here as a pocket, a giant pocket or whatever. So I go through my stash and I pick that stuff out. If it's larger paper, I just make my pockets out of it. Typically I put two pockets in mine just to hold the little, some smaller bits. Up to you, totally up to you. The idea of a faux flow is that you just put loads of stuff into it, um, you know, from your stash to be used up. Okay, here's some other uh, beautiful, beautiful papers, right, That from a book that I had. And I could cut these out and make a little tag. I can use this in my journal, okay? So those, some of those, let's see. Okay, then the other thing that I use as well is, let's set those aside, is scrapbook paper, okay? So let me show you how I've started to do my next faux flow portion of my, for my next book. So I took a piece of scrapbook paper, double-sided, 12 by 12 sheet, okay, and I folded it up, right? And there we go, let's get in frame. Okay, sorry to shake you about. So I folded it up. What I like to do, like I said, is put paper clips. Now you don't need to use these giant paper clips, but it just holds the stuff in that you decide to put in. And, um, but one of the ideas that you could do is go ahead and make up a few cute little embellished uh, paper clips, you know, just add a little ribbon on the side or whatever you want. Then the next thing I do is I start layering up my papers, okay? So here's a piece of my smush paper. If I do have a video on it, I'll link it below. Um, but I But this paper makes great tags. Then here I have a piece of my uh, dyed paper using food coloring. Again, video on that, I'll link it below. Here's just a beautiful, beautiful um, picture from a book. So I put that in there. I could use this whole thing as a pocket. I could cut just this out and make a tag. So, yep, you just go through your stash and you layer up stuff that you would like to use up. This right here is a paper from a Molly and Rex journal. They have sewn in signatures, so when you pop them out, they come out as a full sheet of paper. I've even taken this in, in one of my journals and I used the whole thing, right? What I did was I actually, like say this was my journaling page, Okay, I glued this on three sides here, 
made this part here into a pocket and then this closed like this. So I had a lot of journaling to do that day. So I journaled on the front and decorated it and on the inside journaled and then I had a pocket still with more journaling. So there's a tip for you, an idea. Here's some Edith Holden paper. Okay, so there's that. And then here's the center. Um, sorry if there's a glare. Here's the center pocket, another pocket that I can put goodies in. Now, you're asking, okay, what kind of goodies do you put in here? Well, my suggestion is that you go shopping through your room. That's what I said earlier because, you know, it, uh, you want to use up your stuff, right? You want to use up your stuff that you already have. There are no special materials needed to make anything that I'm doing here, okay? Um, yeah, you just go through your stash, all right? <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Um, so let's see. Some of the things that I would put in here... Oh, wait, I do have another suggestion, too. Is, you know, limit the stuff that you put in here. Kind of, sort of. Like this insert right here is super fat and thick. I will never use all of this stuff in my March, April Fobonichi, but that's okay because I'll just transfer it to the next book, which is fine. But sometimes less is more. And so when you have less stuff to work with, uh, you tend to become more creative in figuring out ways to use the stuff that you have, right? And that's the whole idea of this book is to have everything in one place all you need to take along with you is your book and your glue stick and your pens, right? That's it. So I would just put in one or two of something, right? Like, um, so for instance, you know, you have your, your scrapbook pockets, right? You might put in some jelly prints or some handmade papers if you want, right? Dyed papers, uh, pictures that you enjoy journaling paper possibly okay uh, other papers that you enjoy using oh, in fact this is December so this will probably go in my December book um, and then things that can go in the pocket now obviously you can put more papers in here you can put whatever you want in here okay it's your journal put whatever you want but you could put pieces of scrapbook paper that you want to use up go through your bit box and um, find some papers in there and put them in you might have some collage paper go ahead and put that in music text anything that you would put in your journal that you think you might use that's what you're going to put in here now inside the pockets here i have just a few selected things oh that came from somewhere all right i'll have to oh that came from over there sorry for the reach okay so i have little pieces of scrapbook paper these would make great little tags right they can go right there in the pocket this is packaging, again, makes a great tag, right? So I would put these in here. I could either cut these up, you know, like maybe I would use this for daylight savings time, cut it up and stick it in my book to denote daylight savings time. Maybe I was on the phone with grandma, so I would cut this out and use that. Or I could simply just use it as one giant tag. Another great idea uh, are these paint chips that you can get at, you know, uh, what's it called a home improvement store what I do with these is I take these and I love the images on the front right so I could take these and just glue them to my dyed paper and then cut around it so that the back would be the dyed paper and the front would be this pretty image and then I can do my journaling on here pop a hole in it put some ribbon on it and call it macaroni, right? Um, something else I would suggest that you do is use up some, sorry for the reach, use up some of your washi tape, right? These are all washi tapes that I've gotten, received over many years in happy mails and whatnot. So I would suggest you take a few, and if you don't have any already made up, all you have to do is take a playing card and wrap some of your tape around it so that you have some washi, these are called washi samples, and <clears throat> you can put those in your book, right? So you would take a couple of those, and this is simply to use it up, right? Because it's beautiful tape, and why not use it up? We always tend to hoard our stuff, so this is a good way to use it up. 
some other things. Let me think. Okay, this is like um, this is a corn a coin roll wrapper embellishment that I made. I can leave the link to that below if you want. But it's a paper clip, right? So I can put stick that in here and use it somewhere in my book. Another idea is to put maybe samples of fabric in, right? So you can attach those with a little bulldog clip so that you have fabric samples if you want to use that in your book. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, just scraps of fab, uh, uh, scraps of scrapbook paper, anything that you can make a tag out of, or if that's which how you want to journal, you know. This is, sorry if there's a glare, this is a miscellaneous package of magazine clippings, right? So I can use this in my, uh, in my journal, right? So why not, I mean, this has literally been sitting in my drawer for years why not use it up, okay? It can just actually just be stuck in there or you could take a paper clip and stick it in there however you want, right? Where is this? Oh, that's, okay, let's remove this. <laughs> I know it's upside down, but anyway. Yep, so you can clip that in there, right? So that's held in there. So you have some magazine clippings that you wanna use up. Uh, these are papers that I just made yesterday. Papers and doilies and deck guest checks and uh, coin envelopes, right? All of these things can go into a pocket to... What? Okay, here's a little tab thing. To be used at a later time when you're journaling, okay? If that, that fits perfectly into that pocket, right? Then you close it all up after you've added all your bits and pieces. You know, you can go through some of your old stickers and get some old stickers out, put those in there, and you have everything you need, right, to start working on your Fobonichi all in one place, okay? Again, the idea of the faux flow is you have all your bits and pieces or the ones that you want in your book to be used while you are journaling. So everything except the glue stick and the pen is in your book, all right? So you take this, oh wait, let's put it in my old book. That, that would be easier because there's already a rubber band there. Let's move this aside, sorry about that. Okay, here's my, the, my current book that I'm using. So let's go back to the center. So once you get your faux flow part situated, again, putting whatever you want in it, right? You open it up to the center and you just slide it in like a Midori insert, okay? You just slide it right in there like that. Um, let's see, this paper needs to just move down a little bit. Okay, you know, your rubber band goes in the center Close it up, put the rubber band itself in the center of the book. All right, and there you have it, okay? There you have it, right? So you have your two permanently sewn in signatures that you would be working in, and then now you have kind of a materials packet right here in the center, the faux flow part, all right, in the center. You can use everything in here as consumable. That's the idea. Go shopping in your room. Find things that you would like to use up. You know, nothing needs to be specifically made for this book. That's what this whole faux flow part is. This is your creative portion of the book as far as materials go. So you would use these to make your tags, make your embellishments, do whatever you want with them. Okay. And to use throughout your book to decorate your pages, right? In, within your book okay so I hope that explained everything and that is the end of part three yes in the series so this section again the series or this um, video is about putting your faux flow together going shopping in your room using up what you have so that you have a great base of things to work with while you're journaling in your journal so I hope you all enjoyed that 
and I hope I inspired you to make your own hybrid Fobonichi and yes I might come back for a final a final video in the series to show you exactly how it all worked out or of course I'll do like when I'm done doing one portion of this maybe at the end of March I'll show you how it worked out for me using the book this way having everything in one place so yep I hope y'all have a great rest of your day a wonderful rest of your week and if you have any questions leave them below thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon bye